Hey what's up nerds, how's everybody doing today? It's Friday, January 11th. I'm excited to be here doing a head shave. I've got four days of growth. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here and I'm using um, somewhat new, I've had a sample of this but now I have a full puck of it, so or a full tub of it, however you want to say it. Uh, soap, and I've got the matching aftershave, so excited for that. Um, Yep, no national championship for Alabama, but that's all right. It was a great season. It was fun to watch their games, and I'm sure they'll be back in the hunt for another national championship next year. So with that, we'll get right into it. I'm going to be using Henry et Victoria Cognac and Cuban Cigars, and I have the matching aftershave to go with it. I uh, made a trade on one of the forums online and uh, yeah got this soap so and aftershave so I'm excited about that the razor I'm going to be using is the Parker variant it's got the Kai blade loaded in it it's on its sixth head shave and this time on the variant I'm going with it let's see if that'll focus between a three a little more than three and a half so maybe three and three quarters setting to see how that feels um, yeah, so that's it. So with that, we'll get into it. Just going to take some nice cold water with the dome. I've had the soap blooming for a little bit, so take some of that bloom water. Oh, wow. Really nice scent. Nice, sweet scent to it. Yeah, it's got a sweetness to it that I really like. Good strength of scent. Not, uh, holy smokes, look at that. Uh, what the bloom water, just the bloom water is doing. That's, uh, pretty good. It's not a super overpowering scent, not going to blow you away or, you know, but a nice, a nice strength, not too mild either, just a good medium. Okay, well that is uh, not bad for just bloom water. And the brush I'm using is my little Omega S brush, the little whoop, Omega Synthetic. I really like this little brush. It's a great little performer. It was really cheap. I think it was like five or six bucks is all. Um, I got it when Maggards had one of their free shipping deals going on. So, um, yeah, it, it shipped for free for like five or six bucks it, it, and it's been an awesome little performing brush so really happy with it all right brush puck puck brush you know the drill okay that should be plenty and if not, you always can go back to the puck for more. So there's no no rule against it. Now I'm just lightly dipping the tips of the brush into the soap, or into water to add to the soap. Start building up the lather. I should have done some research on Henriette Victoria because I have a, another soap of theirs, Duc de Santal, 
And it's in a different uh, container, a different tub, and it, it's got a much different look to it. Um, I didn't do any research to see if this is a new version of their soap, or maybe this is the old version, and the Ductus Suntal is a new version. Um, but definitely a different look and new new packaging, or different packaging. I don't know which one's new or not, but different packaging, different look to the soap. So we'll see if that uh, performance-wise changes anything. But as far as lather goes, this is creating a nice lather quickly. Yeah, and hats off to Clemson. Any Clemson fans out there or Bama haters. I know there's a lot of Bama haters out in the world right now. Um, hats off to Clemson. They they had a great game plan. They played well. They they were coached really well. Um, yeah, not not discrediting Clemson at all. They had a great year. They took advantage of every mistake. Alabama made and they didn't make very many if any mistakes at all yeah they definitely had a, a really good defensive game plan and took advantage of Alabama's mistakes on offense and defense. But yeah, they played really well. So this is lathering up really nicely, really thick. Okay, I'm gonna call that good and look at this brush, just heavily loaded. Very nice. I must have been holding my lather brush a little different because my thumb started like cramping up. I've never had that happen before. It was weird. Okay. Well, into the shave. First pass with the grain on the sides and then against the grain. Kai Blade, sixth use, Parker variant. Setting three and three quarters, I'm going to call it. Taking it off really cleanly, uh, really smooth. No harshness yet, but that was with the grain, so I wouldn't expect there to be much. A little more blade fill than I was expecting uh, for this setting, to be honest. But not harsh, just a little more, yeah.
Smells good. The soap has a really nice scent. It's really, yeah, just a nice, sweet, you know, the cognac and Cuban cigars. It just smells good. Just reminds me of just good. <laughs> yeah, that is. We'll see if it's as uh, effective as the Rockwell 6C Plate 4 combo that I've been in love with right now. The 6C on, with setting on Plate 4 has been, with Plate 4, has been amazing. I let a friend at work smell this soap and uh, he said it, it reminded him it smelled like pure man. That's what he described it as. So just a nice sweet manly tobacco good scent. And it's performing well so far too. We'll see what uh, residual slickness is like. Took our dog into the vet to get neutered, so he's in the in at the vet's office right now. We'll pick him up. We took him in yesterday morning. We'll uh, pick him up tomorrow or today this afternoon. He said everything went well. So we'll see if uh, it changes his demeanor at all, if he mellows out a little bit, if there's no change. You guys, one thing I do on first pass is these very short quick strokes, you know, just a small short, especially going straight in against the grain. I don't try to do long sweeping strokes. Um, if Whatever works for you, if the short quick strokes, if you like that, use it. If the long sweeping strokes work better for you, go ahead and do that. There's no right or wrong, just kind of play around with it, feel what works best for you and, and stick to that. But I found the shorter, choppier strokes um, work better for me on the first pass and then when I'm doing my touch-ups I'll go a little bit longer uh, strokes. All right, well, I'm gonna finish off this first pass and uh, be back when it's done to do touch-up pass. All right, guys, first pass is done and it was really nice. Um, there's good residual slickness on this soap. You add just a little bit of water back to it and it, it livens right back up and gives you really good slickness. And um, the Parker variant on setting three and three quarters had the, it, as I said, it, it had more blade fill than I thought, which actually I, I liked. It, it gave you good feedback of how much pressure 
I was putting and uh, but it was also very efficient. We'll see what uh, the Allen block says about it, but it it that was a really nice, efficient first pass. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot for this touch up pass. Just spread on some more of this lather. I got tons of it, so may as well. If you got it, you may as well use it, right? So, okay. I'm just gonna go touch up pass, just start filling around and uh, see where it needs a little love, but there. Isn't a lot to touch up. Usually right here, this transition, my hair changes growth direction, so usually I'm, there's always a little bit to clean up. But there is not much today. And what's amazing is this Kai blade is on its sixth use, its sixth head shave. So really, really good longevity out of this blade. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going uh, with this touch-up pass and just trying to fill around and see where I can find anything. So far there hasn't been much that needed touched up, but as soon as that's done, I'll be back for Allen block and post shave. Touch-up pass is all done, went really well. Um, I've rinsed off. Now I'm uh, gonna be doing Allen block, so we'll see. Uh, the Allen never lies, so we'll see what Mr. Allen has to say about the shave. So I'm expecting a little bit of feedback. I'm just uh, preparing myself that there's gonna be some burn. So here we go. None yet. Oh, there's a little bit right on the Crown of the head, right back here. Well, that, my friends, is a very pleasant surprise. I was expecting quite a bit more feedback than what I just got. There was very, very little feedback at all.
Ja. So all you Parker variant users out there, I know, you know, everybody's different and likes different settings and different blades and different razors work different for everybody, but play around with it a little bit. Set it in the the quarter settings, because three and a quarter is probably my new favorite setting for that razor. That That was a really nice shave with the Kai blade on its sixth use, so very, very nice. All right, with that, I'm gonna let the alum dry, I'll do a little cleanup, and then be back for Witch Hazel and Aftershave. All right, alum blocks rinsed off, head feels really good, very, very nice, and uh, good stain power with the scent on that soap. Sometimes on soaps, when I rinse a couple of times, you know, you rinse after each pass, and then rinse, do the alum block, rinse again, you know, you lose the scent, but this one I can still smell the, the soap, so really nice staying power, but not overpowering, it's not blasting you right in the face, so, witch hazel. I'm gonna splash a little bit of that on. Feels good. Feels like I got. Okay. Never mind. Felt like I had a little bump or something back there, but. Just let that dry on real quick. Alright. Now we'll go with the aftershave. Smells good. Mm, I get more of the cognac coming out of the aftershave, a little more alcohol -y scent to it. The soap had a little more tobacco to me, and this aftershave is a little more cognac, so hopefully the two blending together will be really nice. Uh, it feels good. <laughs> There's not much better than a nice shaved head. So, with that guys, thank you for watching this. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who's commented. Um, even if some of you did give me a hard time about uh, the Clemson-Alabama game. I'm looking at you, Jill. Um, but, yeah, so thank you to everybody. Um, with that, be safe, be kind, have courage, roll tide. See you guys next time. Bye.